my first attempt to learn Bharatanatyam was when I was four years old. Um, so I was born in Newham and my family and I migrated to Kerala when I was four and my mum was really keen to teach me Bharatanatyam. So she found a dance teacher and to be honest I didn't enjoy it at all. We returned to the UK and we came back to Newham. So I started Madhuralia in 1993. Classes were run every Sunday at 1pm um, until 6pm at St Barnabas Church and on Saturdays from 8am to 10am at Trinity Centre in Manor Park and we used Little Ilford School um, in Manor Park for our summer term rehearsals. So when I um, started uh, Mudralia, I was in a vulnerable position because I was undergoing trauma as a nine-year-old, parents separated and basically Bharatanatyam for me was a form of escapism and it was very medicinal so where I should have maybe gone down the route of depression or you know being upset and that sort of thing Bharatanatyam gave me a sense of purpose and um, a sense of belonging and I it genuinely was a second family so with our gurus who I'm still close to we not only had a guru shishya relationship, it was more like a second set of parents. So in Bharatanatyam, this guru shishya relationship is paramount. So we're supposed to respect and honour our gurus. And we even till this day when I see my gurus, I say namaste, we touch their feet. And there's an utmost respect and love for them. But I think with Mudralia, um, it goes beyond that. It was a genuine sense of community. Um, I'm still very close to all my dance friends, so we established very meaningful relationships. Um, my fondest memories are preparing for our student shows. We used to spend all of our summer holidays together every day practicing in different venues around Newham. And to be honest, I think the initial stage um, was parents insisting on children learning the art form. So I don't know for certain if the children themselves were interested. It was something that they had to cajole their children into um, learning. I think one of the things that really um, attracted them were the student shows because there was an opportunity to perform and wear special costumes and get dressed and interact. Um, and there were lots of stories that were told. Um, so we learnt a lot of Hindu mythology and we could become characters. So we could become, you know, the monkey from the Hanuman story or, you know, even if we're a child, we can pretend to be a mum. There's all sorts of things that we used to do to make dancing really fun, interactive and engaging. A lot of us were aspiring to do our graduation, so we call it an Arangetram. And I think that was something that was quite um, exciting to look forward to. So it was many steps towards the end goal, but actually the Arangetram is supposed to be the first step towards a dance career. Um, in terms of values, a lot of uh, the things that I sincerely believe um, now are instilled in me through my journey in Bharatanatyam. So there's a lot of values and principles in life, for example, how to treat your teacher, even if, it, if it, even if I'm learning a different thing, not just dance, I have the utmost respect for my teachers. The person that I am is defined by my journey in Bharatanatyam. There's a lot of things in my personality that echo the, the values that I've been taught since I started learning Bharatanatyam. I think during that time there was a growing community, so there was a, a, a significant amount of Malayalis and Tamil people and um, because the temples were situated in Manor Park that brought people in um, and I mean initially we had classes in East Dam and Croydon but as the years progressed we had branches in Kingston, Ashford, um, Southall and it just grew so I think during that time so during the 80s and early 90s there were a lot of Malayalis and Tamil people but as the years progressed we attracted Gujaratis, Punjabis, even um, white people so British people um, so we had like it, it kind of attracted um, the wider community so I think Newham, I mean, it has changed so much in 
in the sense it's attracted so many migrants. It's a buzzing borough, it always has been, and that high street, the face of that high street has changed and blossomed and it's, it's a mini India. So thinking back to when I was first performing, the, the lengths that my mum would go to just to find the jewellery, the, you know, the hair accessories, the costumes, that it was so much preparation we had to do. We had to think months in advance to think about which family members or relatives would be travelling to India, who could bring things over. And even the things that we needed were not available from Kerala, so we had to ask them to go to Tamil Nadu. Um, it was a long process, but now, if we go to Newham um, in Manor Park, everything's at your fingertips. You can get, you know, artificial jasmine flowers, you can get uh, bells, the temple jewellery. It might be a different price, but you can still get uh, pretty much everything that you need. Learning Bharatanatyam has defined my character 100%, because what Bharatanatyam has done for me is open many doors as a performer, as a dance teacher, as a volunteer, um, as a choreographer, as somebody who can contribute ideas to projects. Um, it has given me a lot of resilience as well um, and creative skills, problem solving skills. Um, it's kept me in touch with my roots. Um, and I think, yeah, I think when we learn Bharatanatyam, there's a misconception that you just learn steps or a repertoire. But Bharatanatyam is far more than just that. We learn a whole realm of things. Um, it's a lot of spiritual learning as well. You learn about yourself, you understand yourself. Uh, being a part of Mudrali School of Dance meant that I was able to integrate and interact with a lot of people that are not necessarily from Newham. Um, a lot of the students were children of doctors, and that's both parents. Um, they were middle class, and um, they were, yeah, basically well off. Um, and I was able to interact and um, form friendships with these um, children who actually encouraged me to aspire and reach for my goals, and they kept encouraging me to not only aspire to reach my goals for my dance but also for my education. Yeah, what my gurus did, it wasn't just for me, um, they made Bharatanatyam accessible to anyone basically, regardless of what social status you are, how much your parents are earning. And I think being um, a part of Newham, living in Newham, opened that opportunity for me because had I been in a different borough, I'm not sure that I would have had that opportunity um, available, so I think it was it was a, a blessing that I was born and brought up in Newham, and that luckily Mudrila School of Dance was established in um, Newham as well.